total eclipse just four days away now. Nearly everyone in the continental U.S. will see some part of it. This map here showing you the percentages you'll be able to witness depending on where in the country you are. And we, of course, are going to be having sweeping coverage of this amazing event right here on GMA3 at 1 p.m. Eastern on Monday. David Muir and Lindsay Davis will be leading our network coverage of Eclipse Across America at 2 p.m. Eastern all across ABC streaming platforms throughout the day. Yeah, I don't want to miss this. Y'all are going to Dallas. Dallas, yeah, we are. Texas, we're taking, trouble and trouble. We're taking over Texas. <laughs> On the road. Double trouble. I already warned DeMarco that I feel like I might cry during the actual eclipse. I think you will. You, you will cry every day. Sappy with a capital S. <laughs> so just prepare yourself. That's part really of why we love you. Bring the Kleenex. <laughs> and speaking of that amazing day, we got a lot of questions coming in from our viewers too, Dr. Jen. Here's one. Uh, will the sun's UV rays be any stronger on the day of the eclipse? And should I amp up my sunscreen applications? That's two quick questions. Two questions within one. First of all, the first one, overall, let's not take the actual totality of the eclipse part. No, the sun, you know, it's not, you shouldn't be thinking about the sun's rays being stronger on one given day. Mm -hmm. What you should be thinking about, and this feeds into the second part of that question about do you need more sunscreen, is remember, the actual eclipse is minutes, depending on where you are in the country. What we have to worry about is not hours, not days, years of that sun exposure every single day what i call incidental sun exposure while you're walking your dog while you're running errands while you're just walking around outside that is when you need sunscreen mm -hmm. and the, my dermatology colleagues will say every single day 365 days a year regardless of your skin color on your face on your neck on your hands oh god it's the too, neck it's too late for mm -hmm. some of us but uh, literally every single day, that's where you're going to have the most beneficial impact. In terms of your eyes, do not look at the eclipse, folks, unless you have the right glasses, the which you can go to nasa.gov. No shades. I wish these were like a little more Stranger. fashion forward. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure they can sturdy. do it. You, you don't want to look good, you want them to work. Yeah, you go sturdy, no, just fashion. <laughs> oh, your prescription for wellness. Okay, it has to do um, with the sunglass check for the eclipse, things that you need to look for. Number one, needs to be compliant uh, with ISO, all these numbers, you can look at the American Astronomical Society website or nasa.gov. Uh, only the sun should be visible when wearing these glasses outside so again, you should not be using the trees or anything else to kind of protect your eyes. Um, the sunlight should be comfortably bright when you have these glasses on. So again, not completely black, just kind of normal. And then the filters should not be torn, loose, scratched, or punctured. If they are, do not use them, discard them. Good things to remember. Yeah, I mean, people had significant eye damage in 2017 the last time, and it showed up about 12 hours after the eclipse, and it could last for months. So uh, you do not want to play around with your yeah, vision. You're listening. Yeah. And hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Jan at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.